in 2020 i've come to discover that the most popular and most demand texture of hair is bone straight okay bone straight has turned out to become one of the most popular demand straight hair so this is the reason why for this christmas i would be telling all my christmas how to rock their bone straight on budget okay so if this sounds like something you like to do or to know you want to like slay in this christmas but you don't want to go you know on a high budget something cheap like five dollars uh, five euro i got you girl i got you if that's something you have the intention to do then you have to watch this video to the end because i'm going to show you how to create those perfect bone straight bundles so you have to hello my shiny crystals you're all welcome back to my channel it's your girl christiana crew and i'm back here with another video so quickly in this video i had done something like this in one of my previous video but i only decided to upgrade it and also to show you another technique that you can use to do this so usually i call this the hand tie bundle okay so this is just a diy hand tie bundle you can use any extension of your choice any type of extension of your choice okay and for this tie you need at least two or three bundles of extension don't worry at the end of the video i'm going to show you how we create a closure i have another video coming up on how to create a closure to match these bundles so just be watching the video while i talk along okay so the double hand tie uh bundle is what i'm creating i'm just putting the extension in then putting it back into the loop twice that's just what i'm doing you can see it on the screen so i quickly want to tell you a little thing on reason why i decided to create this bundle and why i'm using the color and why you should choose a very good color so one thing i need you to know is that for bundles for human hair bundles the natural colors are more cheaper than the highlight or colored ones okay hence the reason why i decided to choose this tie which has a little bit of highlight in the bundles and this will make your bundles to really look very expensive it will give your bundle a luxury look okay if you make this it will be very difficult for people to detect that it's not actually a very expensive bundles you have on okay so the color you choose to make these bundles is very important so you want to make sure that you're choosing a very nice colors i can recommend some few colors that will really look very expensive like wine color with a little bit of uh the, the highlight of gold but when you're doing that don't let it go to be too much you can just have like three or four strings into it or a little bit of that wine color with a touch of blue or purple inside of it it will look like a luxury hair okay so now i'm gonna tell you how you can cut the extension when it comes to the length okay so this one i made here is a 30 inches length so i had to cut my extension into two you know the regular expression but you can use any extension of your choice then if you're going for like 28 inches you can also cut your extension into two but you can make sure when you're feathering it out you don't do it too much and if you're going for about 26 or 24 you can cut your extension into three if you have the idea to go for about 18 inches to 20 inches the best length to cut the extension is going to be into four so what you want to do is just cut your extension check out my video of how i taught you how to feather your extension just feather them properly and then you're good to go so for the quantity of bundles that will be enough for you what you want to do is just to double your uh thread any thread you have black is better double it up to like five strands and then tie them anywhere you know your hand can go through that's the deal nothing so difficult and then your bundle is ready and you just keep on going in like this so from my experience i'm going to tell you that do not space them out too much and don't make them too jam just make sure that they are close to each other as close as possible not too jam and let me just leave you guys to watch the video and then i'll come back if there's anything i have to tell you guys who missed me guys next month december 25th on christmas day by the grace of god it's my birthday and for christmas i'm going to be doing a giveaway i don't know what i want to give away here but i'm really going to be giving five different giveaways on my channel this is the target i have the giveaway has no string attached it's just a way to appreciate my subscribers it's just a way to tell you all thank you for being here for me and also thank you for 2k 
please if you haven't joined this family yet just subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you can join this family i actually said before that i was gonna stop and come back to you know <laughs> tell you guys what next to do but i think the video is not enough for me to stop and come back okay so what you see me doing right there is i am going in with my press uh, hot iron but there's something i quickly want to tell you in my last video i did another method of putting it into hot water and i use my pressing iron for people who do not have hot iron so that's why i decided to change the method in this part for people who have pressing iron so if you don't have this hot iron like the one i'm using flat iron you can go ahead and do the hot water method with the pressing iron so my iron my uh, flat uh tonguing right now is in 80 degree i want to tell you how hot my tonguing is my tonguing is actually 430 degree the highest and the lowest is 80 so i'm using the 80 just slightly hot to make sure i melt it down because don't forget this is synthetic if it's too hot you're going to burn it okay so you just want to make sure you're going with something hot enough you know to straighten it to give you the bone straight so i just leave you guys to watch it while i do this this hair really turned out so beautiful forget the fact that sometimes um as youtubers we try to uh create some content you know for you guys and sometimes they really turn out bad behind the camera uh behind the scene and we don't come out and tell you guys but i can tell you something for true like this stuff turned out so good had done this severally for a lot of people these extensions are really good for these ties and they turn out to you know at least you can use them repeatedly for twice before you throw them away and buy another set so i'll see you in the end of this video and uh don't don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and if there's any question you like to ask me please put it down in the comment section below ask me and i would answer you or if there's any video request you like to make put the video down there your guy is going to make it for you guys thank you so much for always coming back and bye bye watch the video till the end don't skip the ad so if you skip i go beat you <laughs> I can't be serious, can I? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much.
by the time i finished i quickly want to tell you how many bundles you need for this so for each of the bundles i did were about 50 grams each because um i did um i did use two packet and half i used two packet for the hair and then i used half packet for the closure i'm going to show you a little clip of the closure because i still have the video coming up this was how the hair was looking when i finished this was the two first bundles that i made and i actually made the rest of the three bundles off the camera i hope you guys would really like this um video i hope you recreate your own colors and tag me or you create your own colors and send me videos or pictures on my ig at stugat hair Boss. i'll be waiting for you guys pictures and i'm very sure i can tell you that one thing i want to tell you is that after creating these five or six bundles after creating your wig just make sure that the very day you want to wear the wig let's say for example you have a party to attend during the christmas time and you really want to stand out just make sure you're wearing the wig for the first time for that day and just go in again with your uh, shining oil whatever human hair oil you have and you'll be good to go bye bye i love you all my crystals oil, whatever